So the next basic vault that I'm gonna teach you is the dash vault. The best way to go about mentally preparing for a dash vault is revert back to the hurdle precision, where you are literally trying to jump over this object before your hands come down. Whereas the Kong vault, your hands are coming on first. So in this case, the hurdle precision, if you can find a smaller wall and build up to it, the idea is to jump over it. So I'm gonna kick my right foot up. And do that. If you understand the hurdle, this dash is gonna make a lot more sense to you. So, let's talk about the approach of the dash vault. Same concept as all the other vaults. You wanna keep your momentum, you wanna keep that speed, and you wanna find your stride. Now the difference of the approach from a dash to a Kong is obviously your back is going backwards. So what I want you to think of is go back to the running precision idea, or even the hurdle precision, where a foot is actually gonna launch up to get over an object. Now, what I want you to do with your hands when you jump, I want you to try to keep them with this hip. Reason being, if this hip is over the wall or higher than the wall, you know that all you have to do is put your hands down and the wall will be there. If you try to put your hands back here, you're playing with fire. Especially if you try to put them here, same deal. You know your hip's over, you know that the, the wall is right below you. So as we look at the approach, I'm gonna come at it, I'm gonna knee that foot up and come right over. So one more time, look at the approach. Watch how I take off the ground and how I come at the wall. So as I'm coming up, the right knee's gonna drill up and come down. Notice how they're right by the hips. And again, you don't want to jump super high. The slower you go and the higher you jump, the more stress that you're gonna put on your wrist. So the idea, similar to the speed vault, you want your hip to just get over. So you're gonna drill up. That foot that drills up is gonna kick. The foot that you took off with is gonna follow. It's gonna do an exact replica, just slightly slower. So it goes right up, kick. And while that kicking's happening, the left leg's gonna come up and kick. So now, pay attention from my hips down, how this dash looks. So I take off, it goes kick, kick. So let's talk about the execution of the dash vault. What you're gonna do when your feet have come off and your hands are the only thing on the object. It's gonna look something like this. Good thing to practice to build what your arms are gonna be doing as well as your legs is try to hold a, an L sit or even if your legs are tucked, that works fine too. And what I mean by that is notice how my arms are going straight if not slightly bent and I'm holding myself up. That's gonna be the dash vault. So you're basically trying to jump into this position. Okay, now from there, what you're gonna do is the reason why your arms are straight is your triceps are like the strongest muscle. Triceps make up 70% of your upper body strength. So if I initiate those triceps, as well as my abs pulling my legs up in my hips and knees and legs are gonna kick out towards my target, it comes out just like this. So as far as nailing the execution of the dash vault, this is the best way to go about it. Sit here, use your triceps, and get as far out as you can. Notice your progress. Right now I'm aiming for where the sun meets the grass, or the shade. Here we go. Almost dead on. So that is the execution. Now let's talk about the landing. The way I'm landing this drill is a great way to land the dash vault. The other thing is similar to the speed vault where one foot comes out and you continue your stride, the same idea. As far as the landing goes, whichever foot you kick up. So I kick up my right leg, I go right, then left, and then I end up here. If I'm gonna decide to stride out rather than land it in a precision, I'm going to land on my right foot. I kicked my right foot up, 
therefore it should be the first one to land. And as you kick the right, the left is following. It's the same with the landing. It goes right, left, right, left. So I, I do the dash to this position and then I stride out, just like that. So one more time. I do right, left to get to this position of the dash and I kick out, right, left. And that's a dash ball.